cheese flavored potato chips. I'm Winter and this is season 2 of Superfoot Adventures! Hooray! Let's start by punching wood because of course that's what we're going to do here. So, you might be wondering what is going on here and if you are, you did not watch the first season of Superfoot Adventures. Urgh, bad! <laughs> so for anybody who wasn't uh, around... <laughs> Hello! Welcome! This is my single player... Uh, did I pick up all of this food? I did. This is my single player Let's Play World idea um, concept thingy that I started after I abandoned my first uh, uh, single player LP world that was about surviving in Minecraft in a super flat world. Now that was back when such a thing as uh, custom presets uh, did not exist. Uh, so that was back when slimes would be all over the freaking place and it was just a slime hell in general and uh, the objective was to play with the ultra hardcore mod on uh, in an hardcore super flat uh, world and just try to survive there and reach a couple of objectives. I ended up abandoning that in the middle of the season because I did not want to support uh, the ultra hardcore mod anymore. Uh, what happened was instead that I started what uh, is now called super flat adventures which again is about surviving in super flat worlds uh, Except the starting from the first season of this, <laughs> uh, the twist, the special thing about this uh, is that uh, I will allow myself to use custom presets, thus causing this kind of thing to happen. Wow, that tree just saved my workbench. Um, it is dangerous. Ooh, that tree saved me. Well, we have to find. Uh, First, we need more trees, uh, we need more wood, also we need coordinates, where am I? Oh, I'm in the middle of the map, uh, map blah, 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 blah. I'm in the middle of the map, which is great. Uh, hello there, I seeing you here. Oh boy, this place is covered in uh, big trees, <laughs> and nobody likes big trees. Uh, where... Oh goodness, this is getting really dangerous really fast, I don't know. Uh, okay, punching wood has never been so extreme. I wanted to make an axe actually, and uh, most uh, other important things you get here. Let's see, a shovel is always useful, and an axe. Great, great. Uh, oh, food is going to be the end of me. Right, uh, food. Uh, <laughs> in the first season of Super Fat Adventures, uh, the gimmick of that season was that we were playing in an end biome. Uh, indeed, if you don't know, uh, custom presets for Super Flat Worlds in Minecraft allow not only to decide what blocks and what structures spawn, but also in what biome you're playing. And that allows for some sweet things, for example, if you were to set everything to a desert biome, you'd be able to find a bunch of pyramids and villages, uh, assuming you enable them because you can play without them too, there's a bunch of things you can do. In the first season of Spirit of Adventures, as I was mentioning, uh, the gimmick was that I was playing in an end biome, which ended up affecting lots of things, for example, mob spawning. We only had Enderman spawning naturally in that war. Oh, boo! Oh, hey, hello there! Uh, you can see me. Oh, you can. You can totally see me. This is going to be a looking like a battlefield real soon. <laughs> Don't be mad, it wasn't me. We only had the Enderman spawning naturally in that world because mob spawning is affected by the biome. You can only find Enderman in the end, and similarly, we could only find Enderman spawned naturally in the previous season of Super Fat Adventures. So now you know what is going on exactly here. We are in another biome. 
And that's why we get big man guests. Even where I, I saw Kabo, here it is a magma cube. Oh, and the baby zombie pigment. That's so cute. Tell her there. You have an enchanted sword, aren't you lucky? Um, I am just running around trying to collect wood and not getting a guest blast in the face because those kind of hurt. Also, I should make sure not to punch any pigmen because that would be the end of me as well. Apple! Yes, food is going to be a bit of a problem at first. Just like in the first season of Super Food Adventures, food was not easy to find. And we had to resort to a couple of tricks uh, to find and this is 1.6.4 So there's still no fancy fishing uh, Although fishing could... Uh, well, there's also no water <laughs> So that is another problem, but we'll talk about it more uh, uh, There's so much to say about this present uh, It could take us uh, probably the first two episodes just of explaining what is going on here Meanwhile, I'll try to collect some wood and uh, not uh, die while doing so. Alright, uh, where am I? We're in another biome, but uh, not in another dimension. Assuming I had the means to do so, I could build another portal here and enter it, and I'd be in the nether. Which, by the way, would not be flat, because the super flat worlds will still spawn a normal looking nether and uh, end. They will not be flat. So, right now we are in the nether biome, but not in the nether dimension. There is a difference, and uh, we will be uh, talking more in details about this difference in the future. For now, you just need to know that we're kinda in the nether, so there are some things that uh, are different. Uh, as you can see, right here. Oh, I forgot to split. Uh, hi. I would like to get another apple. I cannot eat uh, a fire slime ball, what's it called? Uh, uh, magma cream. I know Minecraft. Oh, okay. I am getting flanked. I'll try to move away and cut down another tree. I don't like tall trees, but it seems like one tree out of three. One three out of three is taller than I would like it to be. That kind of rhymes. As for the layers, uh, uh, there is kind of a... Uh, Preview, I suppose, of the layers that are in this breath. I have a decent amount of wood now, that's great. Uh, the intro gave it away a tiny bit, but uh, I guess I can show it. Uh, let's see, let's try to move a bit closer to zero zero. Because that is our original spawn point. So if I were to die, I would appear somewhere around uh, here. So let's not uh, crash into that uh, magma cube. Oh, that was so close. Fly towards the sun. <laughs> Little fireball. All right, so we're almost at the center. This is good enough, I'd say. So I just want to show what is going on here. Although, well, we have... Oh, I thought it was a creeper, but of course it wasn't. <laughs> we will not get creepers here. We have uh, layers of things uh, that uh, my present that I came up with uh, have uh, affected. So, here it is. We have one layer of grass. We have three layers of dirt. Then we're going to have... Uh, how many are they? Ten layers of stone. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Meanwhile, I will do basic things like starving to death. But besides that... Uh, I'm going to make a furnace, simply steer, and then make some charcoal, because it will be a while before we find coal unless I just randomly dug into a vein right now. No, that would have been great. <laughs> uh, and after the first 10 layers of stone, we're going to come across our first layer of... I guess I miscounted. Layer of... How many? <laughs> our first layer of... Netherrack! We have five layers of netherrack. Uh, this custom present can be found uh, in the description of this video. There is a link to paste bin because it's impossible to link this, uh, to copy this uh, present uh, in the video description without YouTube breaking it and preventing you from 
copying it and using it for yourself so there is a link to paste me that's where you can find the present that you can copy and use for yourself so you can find yourself in a world similar to mine and this is kind of lame because i was hoping to have a a lava pool directly below me so it wouldn't be this dark but um, we have 30 layers of air which means that i can't jump down there if i jump i die even at full health and with full iron armor so that is annoying but we'll have to find a way to work around that night time is approaching and it's not going to make uh, any difference whatsoever because all the mobs that spawn in the nether biome are pretty much unaffected by light levels so they will spawn uh, in the same numbers uh, during day and night I'm going to build an underground base here let's see uh, I suppose I can close this uh, yeah, let's close this let's have some couple Whoop 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 whoop! That was <laughs> peekaboo! Hello! <laughs> there was a gas there, and we did not like that. I need a bit of stone. I wouldn't mind building a base on the surface, but oh, coal! Finally, through that I need stone first. Stone or cobblestone is gas proof. It's explosion proof, so uh, that's going to keep us safe if you want if you want to build the shelter on the surface. Oh, there's so much to say about this, and it just... Let's see, what's next? Uh, uh, well, the only thing I haven't mentioned is that uh, at the bottom of everything, after after that hole down there, after the 30 layers of air, there's nether rack, and there's 29 layers of nether rack, and then there's just uh, uh, a single layer of bedrock, so I have no access to the void whatsoever. That is... Uh, uh, there's more, so much coal. <laughs> That's all. As far as uh, I'm going to starve to death, am I? <laughs> Ooh, it's gonna be fun. Um, there is, there is, there is. What was I going to say? Oh, my pick broke. Oh well, I'll just craft another one. <laughs> I am doing something wrong. Here we are. I'm going to make another pick, collect the remaining coal. In the previous season of Super Fat Adventures, uh, I had an objective, and uh, reaching the objective would mean like winning the winning the game. I just lost the game. Uh, it would be the, 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 the end objective that I would have for that season. And the objective, the objective <laughs> for that season was to defeat the Ender Dragon twice. More coal! And I'm going to mine this stone too. Twice! In vanilla Minecraft, the only weird thing about it was I was playing super flat but it was still entirely vanilla Minecraft so anything that was going on any other person could do it there was no fancy modding whatsoever and thanks to the particular present I was using it was possible to kill the ender dragon twice uh, which was absolutely amazing and lots of fun so that was the objective I gave myself for that season in this one, reaching the end is, in theory, possible, but ridiculously hard and it's going to take a long while. So instead, what I have decided to do is a bunch of smaller, but uh, many more, uh, different uh, objectives and I'll just try to reach uh, all of them. So we have... Uh, are going to try to do a bunch of different things which would be here I'm almost just give me a second ah 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 here here I am here we are okay objective number one 
<laughs> uh, collect. You know what? That's going to take forever. I'm going to do it to write them off screen. <laughs> The first objective is to collect every color of flower and every color of mushroom. We're starting with something really simple. <laughs> so, uh, that's going to be really easy flowers as you have seen on the surface. I thought I had collected one, but I haven't. And mushrooms can be found instead down there. Uh, and so, that's it. Technically, in... Originally, I was planning to collect all of them and then put them in a pot. But uh, we don't get clay in this present right now, so no, no pots. We'll have to just collect them and then put them in our chest and, and just forget about them. The second objective is to kill five ghasts. Now, there are no chickens here and there are no natural skeleton spawns, which means that we will most likely never get our hands uh, on arrows. We can, however, in theory do that and also get the bow by finding a dungeon. Dungeons exist in this world, I have enabled them, so it's possible for us to find this skeleton spawner. How much? Uh, it's a decent amount of uh, stone. I am bad at predicting how many blocks I will need for any build, so I'll just keep on digging. Exciting footage right here! Uh, so, unless I end up finding a skeleton dungeon, which is entirely based on luck, I will probably never get my hands on a bow and some arrows. So I will instead have to kill the ghasts the old way by get shooting back at them, hitting their fireballs back at them and making them blow up in their faces. And I'm... Um, I think I... No? I heard the baby zombie really close by. I thought it was in my staircase, but it was not. Uh, I'm really bad at uh, reflecting uh, <laughs> fireballs back at gas, so the objective is only to hit uh, and kill five of them that way. Next, we will have to kill 50 pigmen. Uh, which I will probably have to start doing soon because the dead pig man will give you meat. It's rotten, it's rotten flesh, but it's still more food than I currently can hope of uh, finding. Uh, I should have actually tried to cut down some tall grass and start growing some wheat, but with no water, uh, it, it would uh, anyway take a long while to accomplish that, so. No wheat for now, no bread for now, we'll have to kill pigmen, we'll have to hunt our prey to get our hands on some food. So, f kill 50 pigmen to uh, win the next objective. Then we have to destroy 10 cave spider spawners. There are mineshafts in this uh, present, I have enabled them even though I suppose they don't fit too well with the whole nether theme, but uh, they are really precious, they will give string, they will give uh, uh, a bunch of chests where we can find iron and... Uh, oh, iron can't be found here. Uh, I guess I will explain this better later. Right now, uh, as you have seen, we haven't come across any iron ore so far, so um, our primary source of iron ingots is going to be the mineshaft chests so we'll have to explore a bunch of them just like just like in a previous season of super fat adventures mineshafts are going to be really important and fundamental for our progress so as an objective i'll try to take out 10 cave spider spawners and be happy about that <laughs> next we will have to find a stronghold, because there are strongholds in here and I want to find one, that's an objective. Finding one will allow me to accomplish the next objective, which is to craft an enchanting table. Strongholds will give me books, so there's that, and mineshafts and stronghold chests will give me... a uh, three flint, three flint is good for my plants, uh, will give me d -d 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 diamonds? Uh, a small amount of them, but still it's going to be better than nothing, and I will be able to make an enchanting table that way, except we're still going to be missing the obsidian, so how do I find obsidian? Where strongholds will have uh, 
fountains in them. Do you, do you have some sort of fountain room place thingy? Which will allow me to get the, my hands on a water source. So that will allow me to make obsidian. And then there's, there's lava, as I mentioned, lava leaks down there. So that's, uh, that's cool and important. Where will I build my house? My house, um... That's somewhere around here is going to be good. Let's start here. And then I'm going to be under attack as I do so. Oh, flower! <laughs> uh, this is going to be good enough. We can make obsidian with the water and lava, so that's good. Let's try to fight this up. Okay, no, that's not going to be easy at all. I guess I should focus on finding food first. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Let's start by taking down all the grass. Ah, there are some seeds. Oh, I will not re be regenerating my health right now. I totally I need. Uh, I need to do something about this. Oh goodness! But yes, uh, by finding a stronghold, I will get my hands on some water, and so I will be able to make uh, an enchanting table by digging up the obsidian. And lastly. Uh, well, not lastly, the next objective is to reach the nether, the real nether, the nether nether, the nether that can reach through a nether portal. And finally, oh, don't sh don't hit me, I will die, I am fragile. Ooh, that was pretty epic. That was not. Oh boy, I guess I will start planting wheat and then watch it grow <laughs> off screen for your... For for your happiness, I will not do that on camera. Uh, reach a nether is another objective, yes. And finally, we have two more objectives, which are to find uh, and dig up <laughs> five iron ores, which will require a bit of an explanation, because as I mentioned earlier, there is no iron ores here. And uh, a single gold ore. Now, what I'm going to do... Off screen, and that, that's all of the objectives. There is no more objective that uh, I have given myself so far. So, what I'm going to be doing off screen after this episode is done is to place down some dirt, make a hoe, plant the nine seeds I have found so far, and watch them grow. <laughs> oh, I have uh, my things to myself uh, and then we'll keep on talking uh, because there's so much more to say about this present so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed yourself you can find this present as i mentioned in the video description i will see you in the next episode of super fun adventures